guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov, I'm the Photoshop artist, welcome to my studio. Today we will create 3D objects from scratch in Adobe Photoshop CC. We will bring our 3D object to dimension, Adobe Dimension CC. We will apply a few modifications and we will render our 3D objects in Adobe Dimension CC. So guys, let's start. First of all, I have opened my Adobe Photoshop CC, no surprise in here. I will click um, on create a new layer to create a new layer. I will rename this layer to the bottle and I will switch to my curvature pen tool. In the options bar, I will specify um, path instead of uh, the shape and I will click on anywhere in my document to create my first path, just like that. I will create another path, another point and a third point. And as you can see, I have created kind of curvy um, shape. I would love to straight up few uh, points. What I will do, I will click on options uh, key. I will hold my option key and I will click on the point I would like to create in straight line from, just like that. I will create another point and another one. And now I will start shaping out my uh, bottle. Guys, you can create your bottle in any um, form you want to. It's your 3D object. You're creating this 3D object from scratch. So use your imagination. Create something very crazy, extraordinary. So uh, I will create uh, another point. I will fix my path. And now I will close my pass. I would like to modify my pass and I'm able to do it without switching to any other tool because I'm using my favorite, the curvature pen tool. So what I will do, I will just modify uh, this side of my bottle. Also this curve. And voila. Um, in 3D panel, I will specify source to a uh, work path, uh, 3D extrusion, and I will click on create. In properties panel, I will switch to deform. I will specify horizontal angle X to 360, just like that. I will switch back to mesh, and I will switch uh, deformation axis to the middle right uh, side, just like that. Also, as you can see, I have kind of hole inside my, my bottle. I would love to close this hole. To close this hole, I will uh, hole. I will go to extrusion depth slider and I will move this slider slightly to the left and voila. Now I will click on uh, create a new layer again. I will rename this layer to the wine glass. And using a curvature pen tool, I will create my uh, wine glass. And again, guys, I specified a uh, pass instead of uh, the shape in uh, options bar. Now I will start creating my um, wine glass. And again, guys, create something very unique. Use your imagination. It's your glass. It's your wine. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that, very easy. And I will close my pass. If I need, I will modify my um, pass without switching to any other tool because I'm using the curvature of pen tool. Now, let me uh, adjust this part. Perfect. Now I will switch to uh, 3D um, uh, panel. I will specify source to work pass again, 3D extrusion, and I will click on create. I will switch to deform uh, tab in properties panel. I will specify horizontal angle X to 360. I will switch to match, same uh, axis. And again, we can see as uh, a whole. I will close this hole, moving extrusion depth slider slightly um, to the uh, left. So now, guys, we have very uh, gothic, um, like, like about um, uh, wine cup from a 15th or 16th century. I like it a lot. I can move my um, cup 
close to the bottle just like that so what I will do now maybe somewhere here let's see yes what I will do now guys I will select my two uh, 3d layers holding shift key I will click on uh, both of them I will go to 3d merge 3d layers and now I'm ready to export my uh, 3d uh, document I will go to 3d export 3d layer I will specify 3d file format to obg you can specify dimensions I will click OK I will save it to the vine uh, I'll specify a file name to, to the vine I will click save and voila now guys uh, I will open my uh, dimension CC and we will continue working on our uh, project just give me one second so this is my dimension CC I will click on create a new document just like that I will switch to a uh, horizon tool and I will adjust my horizon align just like that now I will go to file import 3d model I will specify um, my file and I will click on OK let me bring it in here just like that as you can see I have um, in my scene a panel I can see my wine object just like that 3d object I will select my bottle and I will click on um, move to ground just like that perfect I will switch to how uh, wine and if I will need I will se um, highlight select and um, rotate tool and I will rotate my uh, 3d objects maybe something like that now I will highlight my bottle I will switch to my materials by the way guys all those materials are free for your usage because all those models are a default um, material a library um, in dimensions you see feel free to use and we have many many wonderful choices so we can use even metal to create our beautiful metal bottle or um, guys it's up to you look look at this <laughs> I love 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 so many wonderful choices maybe this yes I like this I will rotate my bottle just slightly and now I will select my wine glass so I will be using same uh, library default uh, material library in dimensions you see and I will apply this gold um, material to my cup voila perfect now guys I need to create my background I can create my background in many ways and by the way if you would like to apply um, label to your uh, bottle or your uh, wine cup you can do it as well just click on uh, place graphic as decal and voila but today we will not uh, uh, work on um, our label so let's uh, be back to our background uh, I can create my background in many ways so first of all I will uh, select my environment in my scene panel and here if I will click on a background uh, icon I will be able to create my background in any color I want to so it's up to you or I can create my background from my image located anywhere I can create my background from my creative cloud library just simply click and voila also I'm able to create background from default dimension CC library I love it so if I will click example on my table uh, image by the way this image is free for your usage because this image uh, located in your uh, default dimension library I will click on uh, the table image and voila now obviously dimension will ask me a few questions if I would love to resize canvas to uh, image size image aspect ratio on do not resize do I want to create environment light yes please do I want to match sunlight of course please do I want to match camera perspective yes please and I will click OK give dimension few seconds and voila guys just look at this 
perfect reflection, perfect light, perfect everything. If you would like, you can adjust your light as well. You can uh, adjust intensity, just like that. You can change rotation of your light. Also, you can color, colorize your uh, light. Everything is up to you. Also, if you expand a sunlight uh, tab, you will be able to uh, bring um, more or less shadow, cloudness, high of your light or rotation. You can change rotation. Maybe I will do something like that. Yes. And intensity. I will bring down intensity. Something like that. Yes, I like it a lot. After I'm happy with everything, guys, I will click on render. I will specify quality. Of course, I want um, high uh, quality. I will specify name of my rendering. Um, I will name it, uh, I don't know, wine and the glass. I will specify uh, export location and of course I will specify export format. I always rendering my dimension of project as PSD file because um, I'm sorry, I'm exporting my um, dimension product in PSD uh, file just because if I will need to adjust anything in Adobe Photoshop CC, I will open my dimension rendering in Adobe Photoshop CC and I will be able to access to any my layers. It's very, very important. So after you specify everything, click render, give a dimension few seconds to analyze. And after that dimension will start uh, rendering your project. And after uh, your um, Dimension CC will finish your uh, rendering. You will be able to um, open your project in Adobe Photoshop CC if you need, or just be happy with your uh, project. Thank you, guys. I hope you liked this tutorial. If so, please create something. Create something. Share on you on um, Twitter or Instagram and tag me in your creation. As usual, I'm asking for it because I'm really, really want to see what you will create after my tutorial. And of course, if you have any questions, just ask. Thank you guys for being with me. Super appreciated and see you next time. Bye.